Hi everyone. I have gotten a lot of questions about how I bevel my bars and I, I keep on meaning to do like a little, little video on how I do it. But, um, there's, there's two beveling tools that I really like and I've got them actually right here on the screen. So this is from Lilu Sud Tools, Lilu Sud Tools. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm looking at it. I still not sure am I pronouncing it correctly. That's, um, just part of my life. I read things that I don't actually know how they're pronounced. Um, hooked on phonics did not work for me. Anyway, so um, this is actually a planer and a beveler. Um, so it's the five uh, millimeter beveler. And basically all you do is you take your bar and you just run it along this corner edge here. I love this one. This is probably my favorite one to use in the shop. The only problem with it is that you are, you're forcing the, pa the face of the bar against this every time. So if it's not perfect, it'll kind of leave these little drag marks, like these bits of TD that weren't totally incorporated in. Um, so if I have a bar, especially one that's like kind of gushy or goopy or, you know, it's too soft and I probably shouldn't be messing with it yet. I like to use this one. Um, and I have to get the link for you guys. Um, I can't remember where I got this. It's off Etsy. I can't see because my camera's on my face. There we go. Um, so this one, all you basically do, usually they come with like a little tool. Um, my sister, Roxy, had to teach me how to use this because I was like, I got this tool and I don't know how to use it. And she's like, uh, here, stupid. Um, so this is how you use this one. The problem with this one is that it is closed on the top. So if you have a soap that has obviously it's larger than the actual um, edge of this, then it won't be perfect. And again, you've got the problem where it's kind of leaning against the soap, so you don't always get a perfect bevel. So that's the case I just turned around and I kind of hit it again until I get the one I want. So that's, that's that one. And again, you're kind of leaving the face of the soap, the soap alone, which is nice versus this one you hit the face of the soap. So then there's another one Put these off to the side. There's another one that, oh God, it's really dirty. I should have washed it. I, I don't like to use this one, but my friends that come and help me in the shop like this one the best. Um, I, I like it. I just, <laughs> it's really dirty. It's super sexy. Here, everybody, let me show you my filthy soap tools. Isn't this great? Aren't you so glad you subscribed to my videos? Subscribe for more content of Whitney haphazardly cleaning her bars before she shows them to the internet. Anyway, it's just plexiglass. Um, I don't like this one as much because it's not perfectly, um, it's not perfectly even, like the hole, the hole that you cut through, like I don't know if you guys can see that, like it's not, it's wider here and narrower there. And I don't like that because my bars are really long. Like if you don't have as long of bars as I do, it probably isn't as big of an issue, but I do. So um, this one basically works like the little yellow one does. So all you would do is take your soap. And this one's nice because it doesn't really, it, it's planning for how tall your bars are. You just take that and then you flip and then you scrape and then you flip and then you scrape, get the idea? And then same thing on the other side. Flip, scrape, flip, scrape, flip, scrape. So, again, I like it. It's just, I don't know, I like the little yellow one better. I don't know why. It's probably just a get used to it thing too. Like I'm totally that person, like once I've learned a route to get somewhere, that's the way I always go. Cause um, I like, you know, things that are the same. So anyway, that's how I, that's how I bevel them. That's what they look like. These are the three different uh, tools and the three different ways they look. And like each is a little bit different. Um, so the yellow one is this one here and this is the big plexiglass one. This is the little metal one here. Um, so that's, that's what they look like. That's how I do it. So I hope this helps and I will put the links um, to these tools uh, in the bottom so you can see. Thanks for watching.